Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me once again. So today I'm gonna to continue on with my series of how to draw trims and details for specific things. So today we're gonna to focus on buttons and in the previous video we've already done press snaps and we've already done aglets, cords and eyelets. All right then, let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna draw a denim button. Go to your rectangle tool and click and select your eclipse tool. From there, draw your circle by clicking and holding and dragging a lot of stuff. This ensures your circle is equal. Select your circle and copy and paste and reduce the scale to a small circle in the center. Do this process for a second time and change the scale of the line. Once this is at the thickness that you want, head over to your object tab, scroll to path and then outline. I'm doing this process again with my internal circle. You could always copy and paste your external line and reduce the scale but the line would become smaller as you do this. Now, using your selection tool, select all the objects and go to the top bar and use your align tool to vertically and horizontally align your selections. Now draw one more circle on the outside of your central circle. The fill is on here, so I just swapped it over. Now click and hold your type tool and click the type on a path tool and then click your line. Here you can type your branding onto the button. Here I copy and paste my text so it continues around my button. On this font, the numbers are always a bit larger than the text, so I'm making the numbers smaller to be in keeping with the text. Now you can select your text and increase the scale to your desired size. A few more size adjustments to make it perfect. Here I'm rotating the text so the gaps are on the sides. Select your circles and go to the gradient tool. I'm using the linear one for the external and the inner circles. And I'm using the radial for the background circles. Now that's the button done, but we need our stitch lines. So, here I draw a box and change the line thickness and remove the internal fills. Now head to your scissor tool. If you can't see it, press and hold your eraser tool and then it'll come up in the box. Here I'm cutting the points as I will need them to be separate deleting the line on the far left. Select your top and bottom lines and head to the effects. Scroll to distort and transform and scroll to zigzag. A new box will appear. I covered this in my previous basic skills video. If you haven't seen it, click the link below. Here you can change the size and the ridges per segment. Click preview to see what you're doing. Once you have your desired effect, click OK. Then I click on my far right line and follow the same process. I'm just changing the direction of the zigzag by clicking the item with my selection tool and dragging across to change the direction. Now select all three zigzag lines and head over to the object tab. Scroll to path and then outline and then zoom in. Now use your direct selection tool and move your zigzag line corners to overlap each other. From here, select the three objects and use your shape builder tool. Again, I covered this in my previous basic skills video. If you haven't seen it, click the link in the below. Now resize the stitch line and send to the back. If you hold control and then click, this is like a right click on a PC. You can easily send it to the back. From here, group your items by pressing Command and G. Your denim button is now done. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a traditional button. This can be used on shirts, jackets, and trousers. As you can see, the snaps have appeared on this sheet. I'll be showing you how to do these in another video. Click the link down below. First, use the eclipse tool and draw the circle holding shift. That ensures your circle is equal. Change the fill to the default black and white. Select your circle and copy and paste, and then resize. Do this again and make it a lot smaller. This will be your first buttonhole. Zoom in by pressing Command and Plus. Swap the fill and the line and then remove the outside line by pressing the box with the red line. Copy and paste your black circle, holding Shift while you move, ensures it's in line with the original circle. I'm rescaling the circles here as I thought they were a bit big. Now select your circles and then copy and paste and then rotate again holding Shift. This ensures that they rotate in 45 degree angles. Now go to your pen tool and draw a line from one circle to the other. Change the weight of the line and remove the internal fill. Also click the round cap in the stroke box from here. And then from here, go to object, path and outline stroke. Here I change the fill color to gray to signify the different fabric. This is now your thread. Select your thread and copy and paste using command C and command F and rotate holding shift. 
Select your whole button and rotate 45 degrees so the stitch is now crossed. Copy and paste your zigzag line from your denim button and then send this to the back of the button. And now your button is done. Just a few more final touches and aligning it and then just resizing it and regrouping it together. This just ensures it's one complete component. Once you have your final buttons drawn, you can apply them to your final drawing. Here's an example. I think it makes it look a lot more thought out and detailed. Okay, that's everything. If you like this video, click that thumbs up and subscribe down below by clicking that beautiful red button. I know we're all really busy and if you don't have time to draw these components from scratch, no worries, I've got you covered. Head over to my Etsy shop where you can download the full pack with all the trims, details, buttons, zips, everything on there and then you can use them on your garments going forward. This is a great starter pack for all budding designers. Don't worry, I'll cover off every trim and detail in future videos. Don't forget to follow me on social media. My Instagram's Anthony James London. There's no H in that Anthony. Twitter is Anthony Pulling, and then the Etsy shop is Anthony James Cad. I'll leave a link to everything in the below description. All right, okay, thanks. Bye. Tra tra tra. Bye.